What's up guys, it's 22nd of February 2024 and I thought I'd do a solar update. The last big solar updates were based on a cluster of solar sunspots that passed across, luckily not emitting anything directly towards us, um, nothing stronger than a very low X class or top end of the M class. But recently I've been monitoring and there is a larger than I've ever seen singular sunspot it's got a cluster with it, but it's this one's larger than I've seen for quite a while coming across. Um, I will show you now. Uh, I'll read this off spaceweather.com. X-Class Solar Flare updated. Big Sunspot AR3590 is as dangerous as it looks. Late yesterday, the active region produced a powerful X1.8 class solar flare with a shortwave radio blackout over the western USA and Pacific Ocean. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory recorded the extreme ultraviolet flash. Um, it's worth noting that the explosion did not produce a CME, at least not a bright one, so they're going to continue to monitor that to see if anything comes. However, this is updated once a day, something like that, maybe twice if something major happens. Um, what I have noticed is on here, which is Space Weather Live, um, get that closer in for you there, this is the one that they're referring to, X1.9, late on Wednesday, 21st of February. And if we go along here, bang, another one, X1.7, that got to on the 22nd at 6.30 a.m. So seven hours between two X-class flares. Now, if these do emit CMEs, they can stack up and become one big one. So this is definitely one to watch. And this is such an active sunspot at the moment that by the time it comes around in full view of us, then it could be producing larger flares, even of that scale. Let's have a quick look at it on the actual disc. There it is there. Um, I mean, that's massive. If you've seen any of my previous updates, you'll know. It's got this cluster here. These have just started to open up, so they could grow as well. But this itself is huge. And we'll do um, a comparison using this, which this sketch, if you've not seen before, is the Carrington event. That's what they saw with the Carrington event. Um, it's not a weird sketch of a alien bull with horns eyes horns yeah but no it's the carrington event and obviously the black is these patches here and then the orange outer is where the shading is of gray um but you can see even the biggest hole within the carrington event is smaller than this one here now so this is definitely one to keep an eye on and speaking of keeping an eye on it sunspot you can see using eclipse glasses if you've got eclipse glasses put them on and look at the sun there's no eclipse today but there's still something to see the giant sunspot is crossing the solar disk ar3590 is so big you can see it without magnification so if you've got solar glasses go out have a look see for yourself and yeah that's probably quite scary if you've not got solar glasses they're relatively cheap there's a set here. I'll link them below, which will give you this kind of view. Um, so, yeah. Scary times. And if you've seen my previous videos about the Carrington event, what does that mean? That means prepping for potential blackouts is the worst case scenario. Well, the worst case scenario maybe is more extreme than that. But in my opinion, losing power for a prolonged period of time, if not indefinitely, but definitely a prolonged period of time. So make sure you're prepping for that. That's power, heating, even water, because these pumping stations all use electricity as well. <clears throat> we do have things in place in the UK. There's capacitors and stuff there that should be able to take impacts up to a certain level, but even them have a limit. So just make sure you keep that in the back of your mind. 
The good thing with this is we should know before it hits if it releases an X8 class solar flare that could cause major damage. I'll be on here within two minutes saying, be ready, it's coming. We're expecting it this time. And thanks for watching. See you in about five years' time when YouTube's back up and running. So let's hope that's not the case. We'll monitor this one closely. But stay vigilant, stay prepared. Don't forget to pick your solar glasses up and keep an eye out for that coming in. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit subscribe and like. It all helps. Share the content. That helps even more. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.